just wanted to reach out and talk about something uh, in the spirit of the holiday season and that means a lot to uh, myself and my boys, in particular, my Elijah. Um, we are at a time where it's a person that he loves so very much, his great-grandfather, um, whom we all affectionately call Papa, is uh, fading, as we can say politely, um, into the twilight. Um, this will definitely be his last Christmas. Uh, he is still aware of what's going on around him. And um, since my boys can't get out there to see him uh, right now uh, due to what this year has looked like for us, we wanted to try and do something big and spectacular that he could see and that honored him. And hopefully this will become uh, an annual thing that we do in his name. So we look forward to you helping us and supporting and sharing and pushing for more support um, for what we hope will be the first annual Papa Saves Christmas. Um, we wanted to save it for this last full weekend uh, because we know that there are people out there that are completely done and you guys are coasting into the holidays and it's all good. But we also know that there's plenty of people that are absolutely waiting for next Friday, the 23rd, uh, for that payday. And nothing is coming until then. So the gifts will be what's left. If They'll be hopefully on layaway and the layaway won't have been put back. Um, it's a lot of stress for a lot of people. And it's not just the people that we think of that qualify for help and the programs that are out there that we see doing so much good um, this time of year. It's for the people that are just stretched too thin. It's for the people like us that have had circumstances this year beyond their control and that have financially drained them. There are 1 million people impacted by long COVID that will never be able to return to work or to the income situation that they were before they were impacted by COVID. And all of those families have their own story. They're all unique. There's kids, there's parents, there's needs, there's wants. And in the magic of the season, we would like to be able to do random acts of kindness next week in the name of Papa. And that's because that's what Papas do. Papas make us feel warm and safe and life is just better. And you know that when Papa shows up, you're gonna get a big hug and you're gonna be okay. And this is for all of you that have your own Papa or Grandpa or Pop, um, Abuelo, whatever you call your person, uh, this is, this is for you to support as well. And I'd love it when you donate to the GoFundMe page, if you would post the person that you would like to honor, and we will make an effort to say your special person's name too. And what we hope is that we will raise a good bit of money over the next three days, because that's what we're gonna push. Um, so this is a kind of an all in, go all out. We have a big goal, because we wanna do some big things for a couple of people if we can, and we wanna do a lot of little things. Think about the way waitress that gets the big tip or um, the person randomly in the parking lot or the McDonald's or wherever that you strike up a conversation with and give them some uh, additional cash that will help make their day and their holiday brighter. Um, my son has a heart of gold and he wants uh, Papa to feel the love and he wants there to be videos and we want to give you videos of it happening so we're transparent where the, with where the money's going. But this is uh, something that is very special to us. I had an idea in my heart that um, we are a family that's had a really tough year and I know that we're not alone. I know that within my circle of friends, there we're not alone and that we are just a sampling of what's going on in the world around us. A lot of people are struggling. And so I could use some blessings, my family could use some blessings, but we know that the best way to be blessed is to be a blessing to someone else. And that's what this season is about. Um, so please join us in helping us launch this campaign called Papa Saves Christmas. 
Donate if you can, share, 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 share if you donate, share if you can't donate, share it with the people that you know. And like I said in the comments on the GoFundMe, uh, tell us a little bit about the person in your life that is your papa that makes Christmas spectacular. And we will make sure that we give a shout out to your person and we will make sure that papa sees it all and that the love just warms his heart in this, his last Christmas and he can see um, the impact that he has and what he motivates his great grandson to do um, this time of year in his last Christmas that we want to make very, very, very special. So we appreciate your help. Um, we're excited. You're going to see a lot of me or hear a lot from me this weekend. Um, so the more you share, uh, the less we'll have to do this and the more exciting it will be. And next week we'll hopefully look like our own little reality show. Um, and we can do some really magical things for people because again, just like Santa Claus, Papas are magic. So let's spread the Papa. Let's help Papa save Christmas. Uh, let's let this man feel the love and the impact of his 90 years on this planet and uh, give my son a wonderful way to give um, the parting gift of joy. I appreciate you guys. Happy holidays, whatever you're doing. Take a deep breath, look around, enjoy the lights, the magic. Don't be too stressed. And again, if you can support this effort, please, please do. And if not, share, 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 share. Season of sharing. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.